Yo, so just before we begin, this is my elliptical readout from last night, uh, shot after yesterday's video was filmed and produced and uploaded. I ran, theoretically ran two and a half miles in 35 minutes and then did, you know, 0.3 of a mile during the five minute cooldown it imposes on you at the end. Um, not exactly my sub 25 minute 5k, but it'll do for now. There's a new discipline related thing seems to suddenly be happening with me all of a sudden. I thought I hadn't done my dishes last night. Turns out I did. That's... That's weird. I could have sworn I very deliberately left that until this morning after breakfast and before I showered. So I'm changing up what I'm having for breakfast this morning. I'm going to do an onion and sweet pepper omelette. Uh, which does mean I'll be frying it in uh, oil instead of the usual butter. Uh, marginally, it's going to increase the calories by about 5, but I need that higher smoke point. Man, I really got to hurry up and remember to order this tripod. Oh, oh Christ, that's not actually hot enough. Oh, well, that's yeah, fine. It'll heat up. Oh, there she goes. So, uh, I guess just give this a fry. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to lie. I've, I haven't actually done like a omelette with onions and peppers and stuff in it before. I've always just done simply eggs and then melted some cheese in it. Cause, and uh, Or on one occasion, some... What I did, sorry, one occasion, for a little while, something I did was I would make up an omelet, uh, but then I would sprinkle cheese on it and then put it on a wrap and just roll it all up, give it a minute for the cheese to melt, and then eat that. Now, those were freaking delicious. I also am having trouble concentrating on pointing the camera of what I'm doing because I'm trying to actually look at it with my eyes. So I'm going to stop rolling now. Now I'm just going to let these sizzle for a little while and go the eggs. Uh, yeah, this, this is real exciting. And as you can see now, when I actually attempted to flip it over, I fucked it up and it's in pieces. Nevertheless, I'm just going to let this cook a little longer, then plate it up and eat it. Well, nevertheless, I'm going to dig in and... Yeah, no, not my finest work, but, uh... This is something I'll have to just learn how to do better with. Well, that was a freaking disaster, but it still tasted mostly of the things I put in there. It had a lower calorie count than what I'm normally having for breakfast lately, as in I replaced a nan bread, which is mostly just carbohydrates, with, well, some fruit and veg, which I can't complain. Again, it was probably better for me than what I usually have for breakfast lately, which is for scrambled egg on nan bread. <clears throat> Not the worst thing I could have been having, and it's something I'm going to have to learn to do better at. But I'd like to issue a correction, by the way. I casually mentioned my lowest recorded weight being 224 pounds. Uh, that was a mistake. It's actually 233. Um, specifically, there was a point where I weighed 16 stone and 9 pounds about 7 years ago, according to my, my old logs going all the way back off my fitness pal. So... That's kind of my true target. Well, my true first target is to reach that. But then I want to get down to about maybe 200 or so. Um, I watched a rather uplifting video yesterday about how 220 pounds is a perfectly healthy running weight. And I got pretty close to that and was still running 10 miles despite weighing quite a bit over that. So I feel like that is attainable. Finally... I've ordered, finally, the replacement for that Josie over there. When I ordered that one, I accidentally ordered it a size too big. And then grew into it, to my horror. Well, it's my own damn fault, ain't it? So I've ordered one the size I should have ordered that in the first place. is something to slim down into. Goals. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and I'll see you soon.